Yeah. Permission to come aboard, Captain. Honey? Heard you exercised your sea legs today. You're starting to creep me out. You know Racer Girl, right? She does a whole boat racing thing, too. You ought to go see her and show off your maritime expertise. <laughs> sure. Sounds fun. Happy boating, Skipper. You ever heard of Dr. Paul Severn? Guy behind these public health initiatives, clean needles, condoms, and all that bullshit? The guy who's all over the TV, endorsing your pal Reverend Goodman for mayor? I got Goodman that endorsement, actually. A few weeks back, Severn and I met up at an auction and found ourselves in a bidding war over a state-of-the-art seaplane. And being the gentleman I am, I let him win. So he got drunk off the thrill of the win, and you got to ask for his endorsement at just the right time. On the money. Problem is, I really wanted that plane. So you're gonna get it for me. You want me to steal a plane? That's not exactly something I can just slip into my coat pocket. Slip it up your ass for all I care. Just go to the marina and do the job. Now! What respectable man in Nevada doesn't need a seaplane? Damn it. Sorry, guys. Nothing stands between a man and his plane. Now for the fun part. A creeping addiction. Gambling gave me a release. A 
destructive hobby. I thought his ventriloquism was a phase, but soon I couldn't separate John from the dummy. My name is Mr. Smile, sweetheart. When John decided to put down the dice, his own puppet held him back. The more I begged him to leave the blackjack table, the more he kept betting. I lost everything. I think my wife started sleeping with another man. I can't even see that coming. Just when he thought it couldn't get any worse. Mr. Smiles is twice the lover you'll ever need. <laughs> We're the deli now, dummy. Addiction. Betrayal. Mr. Smiles might be the father, John. The DNA results are in. Don't miss the next Bernie Price, only on NTC. Today is yesterday. The future is now. Of course, we're ahead of the curve. Hear the hits of... What did I tell you? She's a beauty, right? Don't you think your friend is gonna be pissed? He's had his chance to enjoy it. You know, I thought you'd put up a little more resistance when I tapped you. Part of me thinks you actually like a little blood on your hands. You don't know anything about me, Frank. Don't waste your time with the innocent Boston altar boy act. I didn't pick you up out of nowhere without looking into you first. You know there's no such thing as a clean slate, right? See you around, Jason. Thank <laughs> you.